Welcome back. This is BB. I'm here with my dog Ruby. We're playing Life is Strange. We're in an alley and that's gross. Hi, I'm back again. Guess sure who's back? That way. Back again. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my yeah, own Yeah, that's sweet. Family. I really like Joyce. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. Yep, she is. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. <laughs> Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. I have a crush on Joyce, too. Goodbye. Oh, we could ask her about Chloe, but I... Listen, that's enough. That's enough. This guy's just mad, isn't he? Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. You can All hardly right. wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Why are you yelling at me about it? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. So the town is booming, but it's probably in an industry that's not accessible to the lower class. You mean Rachel Amber? All oh, right, because yes. uh... I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Yeah, or she's been hurt, but okay. Good job, Chloe. And we're in. <sighs> that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel thirteen again. Yeah, I have a sense of nostalgia Good for this Lord. place, and I haven't even been Talk here. Talk about apocalyptic. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. They're, I think that they're gentrifying. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. No cop is Hello, nice. Sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. Yeah. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie... Or grilled, Ew, mac, grilled and mac and cheese, huh? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. <laughs> Me either. You. Why do you ask? Ruin his life! I have respect for David. <laughs> I just, I'm just—I'm a horrible calling. person taking any opportunity station, to be like, hey, you know, all the David people I don't like. Exactly where he is. Did you know that they suck <laughs> to like absolutely everybody? That. Ask about Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Poor Joyce. Poor Chloe. <sighs> poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's okay. friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. Right. I just tell well, good job on Joyce. Away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching me. Yeah, that's not much Is of an endorsement. Of yes, she's my lover. Then you know she's a handful. No. No, I think Be she's polite. just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. I think that you're but judgmental and fuck you. So. Uh, How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at Don't the say station grub. We take care of this place like Jesus. it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I have to go now. Okay. Okay. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from What is it with men and like every I woman is either like a sex object or your mom? Wise well, policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Yeah, you should. Quit wasting the taxpayer dollars on food. That guy looks unpleasant. Speak to him. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. I will so spare, spare you. Me, please, just let me suffer quietly. That guy's terrifying. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, oh, then geez. sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Did we really need a cutscene for that? 
I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I can't believe they put me in a video game. A real live me, right there, in the video game. Oh man. It's me. I bet that's the same gum from when I was Digitized here. and put in a video game. K-Bay. Coming up at noon. K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery This is an interesting decision to just on a warm and sunny heavily edit afternoon. an actual video of a human being. And delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of the... The movement's kind of almost too smooth. It looks kind of uncanny. Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. What do we got? We got leaflets. This guy has serious cojones. Why does that so not You could fun? really jump on the tourism business here if the Prescotts are changing it to I be like a Chloe vacation destination or like a timeshare place. Like people will be paying for luxury goods soon. You have a shipping boat, I mean a, sh a fishing boat. You could take people out on the water and charge hella, the right? The doesn't mention whack students with guns. I'm sure there's more to it than that. I'm sure you have to get a license of some kind. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I love postcards. I love all that kind of touristy shit. I want this shirt I would buy so shirt, bad. I so damn tourist. I want it so bad. Kate Marshall, love you long time. Fuck you. Rachel owes me Gross. a BJ. Fuck you. That graffiti has been here forever. Flush before pissing on the floor. Okay. I aim to misbehave. Arcadia base. Arcadia, you, Arcadia gay poet. sucks dick. Okay. I mean, it's clever. That's creepy. Yeah, we gotta take a photo of that. I think this game really enjoys its Twin Peak references and like kind of self indulges a, a bit. A bit. Trucker. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. You know what this place reminds me of is Waffle is House. I don't feel like talking right now. I got it. My dog is snoring. Breakfast to my stomach. Over now. She's so adorable. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Oh, you romanticize uh, their life, hello? maybe. Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. Okay. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Is this is this is like are, is this looking dark to you? Because it looks dark to me. Not yet. I need to get my coffee on too. And throw in a little green bud, and you have the perfect hippie cocktail. That's just an upper and a downer. So just a makes you so at equilibrium, you I guess. School girl. School. Speaking of buds. I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Why would you gossip you about that? About him and Dana hooking up. That's you none of your business. Stuff. I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Jeez, that's rude. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Oh, she okay. said that right in front Follow of Max. Trevor, too. God. Way, I know you saw me in the dorm. No, I didn't. No, I actually didn't. I thought you were staring right at my face. I guess you know now, and so does Justin. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See in class, Max. I think there's a lot of secrets in Blackwell. My throat really hurts, you guys. That's just a fun fact. I think I talked too much yesterday. I haven't talked mm -hmm. so much in a really mm -hmm. long time, but mm -hmm. I'm doing it for my recording sessions, and... I'm antisocial, and my body is not prepared to talk this much. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. That's cute. 
I'm sure that these are actual people that like contributed to the development of this game or something. Andy Berry, Nick Weber, and Rich Conrad. Let's see. I'm trying to look at this picture, please. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? Are you okay, so Ruby? Perfect. You okay? Oh yeah, she's just snoring. She kind of sounds like she's choking when she snores. I so I just have to check things? on her. <laughs> How She's having really bad allergies no, right now, and her eyes are all red. Poor baby. I was switching her food, though, so hopefully that will help. Uh, guitar tune. Because we're not in the fucking deep south. That's funny. That is a I very classic North uh, uh, California. Looks fun. Oregon poster right there. Um, I guess there's nothing else to look at, so here we go. I have a minor crush on Joyce. Mostly because of that action with the skirt and the heels and her faint southern accent, which and makes no sense because we're in Oregon. A lovely young woman. How are you doing? I don't appreciate that? the way that she. It's and I. I no, back up. I appreciate the way the that she stands up to like her I'm husband when she has enough information. She's like, you know, mistreat my family no, this I'm way, like, you can go. Great. I don't appreciate the way that she makes excuses for the way he smart. treats her while she thinks it's justified. But not that smart. Because now that's just not smoking standing pot. up for your kid. I heard the whole sordid story. I understand from that the role of a step parent is to like be a parent in a lot of him. regards. He's a good man. But no I think what, unless you come into the child's life yeah, very early sure. on, it's not your responsibility to be the disciplinarian for them. It was almost an accident. But I am not a child of divorce. I don't have any I don't have a step parent. I was hoping um, you could be a so good influence in her life. So I guess that's not my call to say I don't know. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. Yeah, I wonder it's what's up calling. with Max's parents. Like, you that right doesn't thing. get addressed, really. Moved forward but with they clearly life. don't... I did. ...aren't William involved in her on. life. They, I think Chloe? they just kind of throw money at her and leave her be. Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway... I hope we see more. Of you. I don't think they really but cared whether or not she wanted to go to Seattle either. Joyce, but I, I don't remember so why they moved there. Mario. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. I will she stand up for her even if I have to lie about it. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, do you? Some of those He's things not are justified. As much of a hard ass as you think. Yes, he is. I was you there. How to join, right? You took that responsibility. Yeah, David scared me. David scared me because he's an asshole and he was going to use physical violence. Stupid joint. Oh, I forget. Nobody's if you don't step in and intervene, he slaps ass. her, doesn't he? I admire that you took the heat for Chloe, like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not no, fair. No, she... <sighs> he paid his dues in a war. Don't make he excuses for him. Her, along with all the That's why I hated him. That was what turned me against him right there. Because the first time I played, I didn't step in because I wanted to see what would happen, and he hits her. And it's like, there is zero excuse for that. You don't ever hit A, your child, B, your stepchild, C, a girl, D, some, a girl that younger than you. Um, and what's after D? Whatever. A, B, C, D, E. E, someone that you have parental control over. It's just so many axes of fucked up, fuck that guy. He no, I'm going to badmouth him to absolutely everybody. I don't care you, if it's Joyce. I want everyone to know what a shithead he is. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Exactly. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. That's acceptable. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? 